Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Hope you guys are doing good. Happy messy Monday, honey. When I tell you right now, Twitter, social media, the right and the left, the conservatives, the Democrats, everything is in shambles right now. It is insane. If you guys have not heard, it is going down right now. Let me go ahead and break this down. Grab y'all's teacups, okay? So, in an unprecedented series of events, CNN and Fox News have both lost their respective top anchors, okay? So, Don Lemon and Tucker Carlson were both fired today within minutes of each other. Don Lemon's departure was announced first. So, when it was announced that Don Lemon was fired, honey, the right wing, they the con the right wing conservatives were here for it. They were celebrating. But then it was like, uh, oh, pump your brakes, not too fast, because one of yours is leaving too. So the right wing currently have lost Tucker Carlson, who is one of the biggest voices right now in the conservative movement. And now the left is also celebrating. It is a mess. OK, so let me go ahead and break this down. So the firing has come as a shock to the cable news industry, raising questions about the future of both networks and an impact in the media landscape. Don Lemon is a veteran journalist and the host of CNN Tonight with Don Lemon. But he was removed from that position and they moved him to daytime television on CNN, which has not been working out for him at all. If you guys remember two months ago, I had reported about Don Lemon. He was accused of screaming at, you know, his white co-host and, you know, basically making the work environment uncomfortable for them. And it seems like Don Lemon has been very upset ever since he lost the Don Lemon show in the evening and they put him in this early time slot that nobody's watching. To be honest, I haven't even watched the Tonight with Don Lemon in a long time. I've never watched him on the morning show. But these clips have went viral and a lot of people have been questioning Don Lemon's attitude and his treatment of these women. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Abu Dhabi Airport and that uh, she is on her way back to U.S. soil again. Brittany Grinder, the WNBA star, released from That's Russian detention. We're, we're standing by for ten, the president of the United States. It's been 10 months since speak. she's been held in captivity. 8.30 um, this morning. people to see it more and gain more fans then you will push toward more equality but if they are blocked in so many ways and not invested in as you much are, they I'm don't even sexist. have a they, i know you're I not but they don't the even have a only shot boy in, a, in a family of all women i understand what you're saying but not everybody honestly has the same skill not everybody has the same interest in the sport i think the women should be paid more i do but if the but men... The, you're right that not everyone has the same skills because yeah. the women are better skilled. Well, the women are better skilled against My other job. women. The, but if the women played the men, why, they wouldn't what? be winning the way well, that they what? win. Now, the passive-aggressive shtick is pretty fine-tuned and also getting kind of obvious. Lamont pretends to attack Republicans. Yesterday it was Nikki Haley as a way of attacking his co-hosts. He thinks he's getting away with it, but yesterday morning he made his disdain a little too obvious. Watch this. I think it's the wrong road to go down. She says people, you know, politicians or something are not in their prime. Nikki Haley is in her prime. Sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and maybe 40s. What are you that's talking? Not Wait. I, that's not according to me. Prime for what? 
Uh, it depends. I mean, it's just like prime. If you look it up, it'll. If you look, if you Google when is a woman in her prime, it'll say twenties, thirties, and forties. I don't necessarily. Forties. Oh, I got it. I'm not decade. saying I agree with that. So I think she has to be careful about saying that. Well, you know, politicians aren't in their prime. You need to qualify. Are you talking about prime for like child or are you talking don't shoot about the messenger. prime I'm just for being president? What the facts are. Google it. All right, so y'all just saw that video that went viral a few months ago. So this is what CNN had to say. In a statement released by CNN, they said, We have decided to part ways with Don Lemon, effective immediately. We appreciate his years of service and dedication to providing our viewers with insightful and unbiased reporting. We wish him the best in his future endeavors, okay? So Don Lemon was not here for that farewell speech. This is what he had to say on Twitter. So Don Lemon says, I was informed this morning by my agent that I have been terminated by CNN, and I am stunned. After 17 years at CNN, I would have thought that someone in management would have the decency to tell me directly. At no time was I ever given any indication that I would not be able to continue to do the work that I've loved at this network. It is clear that there are some larger issues at play. With that said, I want to thank my colleagues and the many teams I have worked with for an incredible run. They are the most talented journalist in the business, and I wish them all the best. So that is what Don Lemon had to say. So like I said, this came as a shock to a lot of people. But like I also said, the writing's been on the wall for a while because they kept trying to paint him out as somebody who was sexist and he wasn't letting the other women talk on the show. And you could just tell it was not a good fit for Don Lemon. Don Lemon does not play nicely with anybody other than Chris Cuomo, okay? Okay. Don Lemon wanted his own show. He wasn't here for this whole morning co-host bullshit that CNN stuck him with. So now let's move on over to Fox News. Now, let me go ahead and break this down. If you guys don't know, Fox has been going through it as of late. Six days ago, on April 18th, Fox had reached a settlement with a group of with a group of voting rights activists um, called Dominion Voting. They had basically sued the pants off of Fox News, and Fox News decided to settle for $787 million. Dominion had originally wanted like $2 billion. It was like a crazy amount. So they ended up, you know, settling because there was so much evidence with some of the Fox News anchors, you know, spreading misinformation about the voting machines, and it really did ruin their reputation. So Fox was definitely embarrassed and they decided to just go ahead and settle because it would have been, you know, a bunch of mess had they kept digging and digging into these text messages and private conversations from the Fox News anchors. OK, so this that happened six days ago. And then yesterday, AOC, Miss Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, she came out and she basically said that she felt that Fox News should be banned, Tucker Carlson should be removed, and she accused them of inciting violence during the January 6th Capitol attack. So y'all go ahead and check out what AOC had to say yesterday. Out on air and what isn't. And when you look at what Tucker Carlson and some of these other folks on Fox do, it is very, very clearly incitement of violence. All right, so y'all just saw what AOC had to say, and it looks like AOC was granted her wish, honey, because the media genie just announced today that Tucker Carlson is out at Fox News. Now, Tucker Carlson's show comes on every night, and I do watch his show when I can. Um, like I said, I like to watch everybody. If they're interesting, I like to see different points of views, but... You know, I watched this show the other night. It looked like a regular show. He didn't say anything about leaving or being fired. So I don't think that Tucker knew about this. So let me go ahead and read to you guys what Fox News had to say. So Fox News said in a statement, Fox News Media and Tucker Carlson have agreed to part ways. We thank him for his service to the network as a host and prior to that as a contributor. So basically, that was all they stated Tucker Carlson hasn't said anything, you know, thus far, as far as, you know, any statement like Don Lemon has released. But both CNN and some Fox News um, contributors and hosts are talking about the situation. So I want y'all to go ahead and check out these videos right here. Breaking news. <laughs> Kaylee actually said, what took so long? Uh, <laughs> CNN is parting ways with star anchor Don Lemon. The network made the announcement just a moment ago, actually. And it says, quote, CNN and Don have parted ways. Don will forever be a part of the CNN family. 
I guess, but he can't work there. <laughs> and we thank him for his contributions over the past 17 years. We wish him well and we'll be cheering him on in his future endeavors. Don Lemon also speaking out, writing a statement. Here's part of that. I was informed this morning by my agent that I have been terminated by CNN. I am stunned. So clearly they see this differently. After 17 years at CNN, I would have thought that someone in management would have had the decency to tell me directly. At no time was I ever given any indication that I would not be able to continue to work. I have loved at the network. Kaylee McEnany. Yeah, it's quite something. Um, you know, we just, uh, I, I would just say we saw him take a break briefly for some comments he made, and then here we are. This here just are. in to CNN. Tucker Carlson is out at Fox News. The right wing network just announced the two have parted ways. CNN senior media reporter Oliver Darcy is here with more on this. What are you learning? He was out on Friday. Will we see him say goodbye? We're not going to see him say goodbye. This is really stunning news coming from Fox. They say his last show was April 21st. They put out a very short statement. They say they thank him for his service. And that's it. That's all we know right now. But of course, this comes days after. Last week, you remember, Fox News settled this massive uh, defamation lawsuit with Dominion Voting Systems over the election lies that it promoted in the wake of the 2020 election. So they paid out $787 million, the highest known defamation settlement ever uh, publicly known in U.S. media. So this is coming days after that. Unclear, of course, whether this is related. It's kind of hard to imagine that these coincidentally, these things happen. Tucker Carlson was sowing doubts about the U.S. election results uh, just up until the last few weeks. So it's possible that there was a relationship there, but really big news. And I should also point out that they've stuck with him really through quite a lot. Like yeah. he has promoted conspiracy theories yep. about the vaccines. He has said things that are just blatantly anti-immigrant. He has, like I said, po uh, promoted uh, doubts about the 2020 election. They have stuck with him throughout all of this. So, you know, really shocking news that now he's no longer with the network. Yeah, the big question, as you say, is why, why now? Fox has let their number one people go before. I mean, yeah. Bill O'Reilly, oh, they pushed out when he was number one. They're doing this, this now with Tucker Carlson. We talk about this happening in the wake of the Dominion decision. Now, it's interesting with Carlson, which is that it wasn't his show or his mm -hmm. shows that Dominion was suing over necessarily for promoting false news. It was some of his behind the scenes stuff that was legally problematic for Fox, but he wasn't one of the people who helped get them in trouble with Dominion, was he? No, he wasn't the main culprit that really spawned this lawsuit. But, you know, it's not to say also that other hosts could not be eventually leaving the network as well. I mean, this raises a lot of questions about whether the network potentially is trying to at least rein in some of the more extreme uh, people on the channel. I mean, of course, Tucker Carlson, the most extreme probably on that channel. Um, I should also note, John, why this is so important. I mean, Tucker Carlson outside Donald Trump really was the person commanding the GOP, really directing it. You saw Republican lawmakers, prominent Republican lawmakers, often grovel at his feet. Ted Cruz. Yeah. Ted Cruz, for instance, groveled at his feet and others because they were afraid of, of him going on his primetime show and lashing out at them. So this is not only huge news in the world of media, but also in the world of politics, where he was really pushing the GOP in that extremist uh, direction. All right, so you guys just saw those videos. I think as far as the Tucker Carlson situation um, is concerned, I believe that Fox News, the media conglomerate, was told by their insurance carriers, by their you know lawyers, that they need to mitigate any more potential future lawsuits, okay? And because Tucker tends to be the most outspoken, um, he does dabble in certain conspiracies, they didn't want to risk it. So I bet you anything that Fox News's internal lawyers, their insurance company, after they paid out a whopping $787 million over this Dominion voting system, they can't afford to lose any more money. So for them keeping Tucker Carlson on Fox News would have been too much of a legal and financial liability that they were not willing to risk, hence why they fired him. And then on top of that, there's also some sexual harassment, toxic, you know, work environment lawsuits in the works as well, surrounding Tucker and other people at Fox. Um, just like there's also, you know, shady lawsuits surrounding CNN. Both these networks have done their share of dirt. 
But this just goes to prove to you all, as regular people on the outside watching this, that this goes to show you that no job is safe. I don't care how many years you put into a job, how much tenure you think you have, unless you own the company, no job is really safe. And I remember for years, people would be so arrogant online and say, oh, just get a job, get a job, get a nine to five. You know, the Internet is not a real job. And now we're seeing people who work a nine to five, who work corporate jobs, who work in tech, who work in IT, they're all losing their jobs. Just like when people were telling folks who work at McDonald's or who work, you know, being coal miners, well, maybe y'all should learn coding. Maybe y'all should get into tech. Well, those jobs aren't safe anymore either. And with automation coming more and more, there'll be a lot more job loss. But that's a whole nother discussion. So what do I think is next for Don Lemon and Tucker Carlson? Mark my words, they will be starting a YouTube channel. Hey, y'all, it's your boy Don Lemon. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, what's up? It's Tucker Carlson. Uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button, y'all. Why do I give him a black hood voice? <laughs> I need to stop. Let me try that Tucker Carlson voice again. Hey, America, this is Tucker Carlson. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you guys want to get all the latest news, all that right-wing tea, make sure you guys subscribe ASAP. I can see Tucker Carlson, though, going to rumble because you know YouTube, honey. They like to silence people. I can see him getting a fat-ass deal with Rumble, and that's where his show will be going forward. But I can see Don Lemon being that Don Lemon doesn't like to really challenge the establishment. And he kind of just goes along to get along. He'll do just fine on YouTube. Come on over here, Don. Go ahead and start the channel, baby. You know what I'm saying? I'll think about subscribing if you're talking about some real shit. But anyways, y'all, this has been a messy, messy Monday. All right, another quick update. Oh, gosh, it's been so crazy today. It's been updated that Tucker Carlson was not fired from Fox News, but that he agreed to part ways with Fox News after the whole Dominion settlement. So that's kind of what I was saying in this video anyways. I felt deep down in my gut, honey, that it had to do with that Dominion settlement because that is one of the largest settlements that any media conglomerate has ever had to pay. $787.5 million is no hoe, okay? That's nothing to sneeze at. And being that it was Carlson and his, you know, Fox friends who, you know, hit Fox News' pockets, I can agree with him, you know, to sign to just kind of part way. So he wasn't fired, but he's no longer on Fox News either way. So my commentary still stands. But I want to update that because that was just updated three minutes ago by the New York Times. They have decided to part ways. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below. Make sure you hit that like button. Feel free to share the video. Most importantly, make sure that you're still subscribed to the channel so that we can get the latest piping hot tea. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.